I'm not going to touch that again. That's fine. So let's move on now. I think probably what I'll do is I'll show you how this door is going to work now. It actually filters through. Let me show you. It comes from here. Now I'm using 140 directly on the paper. No undercolour. Because I want this to be very rich. I should be putting colour on top of it. Now I want some of the blue to filter through here. See, I've already done it there. Now this blue is doing what I did with the green up here. Oops, you nearly didn't see that folks. to the blue pastel. And what I've done here is I've kept the dust on the paper. That looked good, didn't it? Let's do it a bit more. So the first run really was putting the colour on generally but as you can see I'm using quite a lot of pencil paper showing through but the next application which is going on now I'm screwing it round pushing the colour into the paper and the dust is still there so we use the dust pick up the dust with the colour shaper and give ourselves a really really nice finish there's another blue going on here too this is only the base colour but rather than putting it a grey on white on. I decided to put the blue on. This particular blue, 140, is a soft colour. And when I put the next one on, which is 143, that's a, quite a lot stronger. But it will go really well into this. And I'll show you that in a tick. The key to this is using that dust to push in. There we are. Okay, now, now I'll, I'll, I want to show you now the next uh, application 143. I'll come away a little bit so you can get a better view of it. Now, this is 143. You can see it's quite a lot darker. But that blue underneath there is going to give us a fantastic reception area for this. Mm 
No need to press too hard on this because this is an, a colour that's going on top. Now, it's always worth just giving it the test run and pick up your colour shaper ivory again. And that should go really nicely into the blue, which it does. Use the dust again. Don't worry too much about the berries, which are being rather lost. We're going to have to do something about that. But it's always going to look a little odd when you start off something like this because you can't. Uh, you've got to put work basically like watercolor, where you're putting working from light to dark. I might as well finish this off now. this one but I've got to get right into those flowers do as much as I can there and then I can use the other one which I've got to clean up a bit this is softer and because it's a sharp tapered one I can get a better that's great do you know what I mean better hold otherwise it would be dragging the, some of those lighter colours and greens and reds and so on in. See how well that goes in. Good. Okay, well that's, well that's come up very well. Um, there is a, a, another colour which I've got. In fact, it might well, pay me here to just go over that with this. this. It just shows you how much softer this particular blender is than the ivory. Probably could have done it all with this if I'd have thought a little bit more about it because that really does look stunning. Now the other colour that I've got here is 151 and that goes, I'm going to put that right on the very edge just and, and the top just to add a little more depth just at the top. On the other one, this uh, 151 will play a bigger part because it's in shadow. Lovely. Now that is quite stunning. Excellent. Um, there are some lines in that and I don't think I can actually get them in folks to be honest. I think it's going to be, let me just try. successfully so we just have a blue door there are some there's some sort of panels but I'm not going to worry about them all I'm going to do in a minute uh, I'm going to show you now is we can put just a little bit of light in there a little bit of white in there just to put a bit of sheen on the door because this is hitting the light Pull it round the other way. Now, how great that looks. This is where we can come back in. Um, I'm going to use a white, I think, here. A little bit white in there. It just makes the Now, see if we can get a 
away with this. Yes, we can. You see what I mean by just putting back in some of the red over the top of the blue. You squid it in, I think you'll get away with it. But you'd never have got round that. Love it. Okay, next thing to do is um, the, the brickwork up here, the stonework rather. So let me just start the ball rolling and then we can now what we're going to do here is we're going to draw the stones in. And you can be quite loose with it because the stones are smaller, they're larger, they, they've got they have, they have lots of different colours in them. Now, just put a few to start with. Now all this will in change as well as we go on because uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so you, you can't the stone it, stones are all shapes and sizes, but so you start off like that. So what do we do then? What we do then is some of them we shade. See what I mean? It's straight away that you're changing them quite dramatically. Uh, we want some ochre in there. A little bit of 180 I think rather than 182 in there. back there, I've got to be careful there. And then just make a few just a little bit more obvious. And then we can also pick it and pick up some white too. So put some white in. We then use, um, I think what I might do is use this one. This is a grey colour shape. If you haven't got this, you can use whatever you want. But this will just give us a bit of shading. Now, you see what I mean when I said, you, although I initially put some shapes in there, they change as you go along. But you can see that's changed quite a lot. Now we need some like a little bit stronger here and there. The other thing we need to do, oh, let me just do one, one or two more of these. And then we need some shading. The shading is on the bottom because the light is coming from this direction. Now I'm going to do a few more here using the same idea because it's a it's a long arm job again. I think you're getting the gist of that and how it's working out. finish that off. 
because it's quite stunning how that actually will end up 